Today on Truck U, we're going to show you how to build a custom TJ trailer to match your Jeep. It's time for some search and rescue today on Truck U. Welcome to Truck U. I'm Matt Steele. I'm Bruno Massel. Now, our buddy Ryan is a local firefighter in town, and he's also part of a search and rescue team, and a bunch of those guys have these Jeep TJs. Those are great. These TJs are great for certain things, like going into the woods looking for people if there's flooding or fires or if somebody's lost. That's what these are all about. Yeah, the good thing about it is they can get into those places. The problem is they can't really bring anything with because they notoriously have no trunk space. And when he's going into these situations, he's got to be self-sufficient. He's got to be able to carry everything he needs with him, carry everything that people out there are going to need to help bring him back. Right. So he came to us and said, listen, guys, I need some help. I need you guys to hook me up with a trailer. It's got to be practical. It's got to be able to survive out there. And I've only got a few bucks to do it with. Right now, you'll see these little trailers around town periodically behind Jeeps, and you think to yourself, man, that's a nice looking little custom built right. trailer. The best thing about them is, especially if you have some time to gather up all the pieces and parts, and you don't have to rush out and buy them all, you can get a lot of stuff donated, do a little bit of the welding yourself, and you can put together a nice, functional little trailer and actually do it for very little money. Exactly. So, well, that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to hook them up with a really cool little trailer, and we're going to go one step further and let you guys do the same thing by putting all our plans on our website so you can kind of interact with. With us or go back later on and build one yourself. All right, let's get the Jeep out of the lift and start looking at some of those parts. Yep. We started with all of our materials laid out to do the job. Two TJ tubs, just around 25 feet of steel to build the trailer frame, and our axle. Once we disassembled all of our lights, we were ready for some fabrication. The first thing we did was grind down the top rail of the tub so we could see the spot welds that connect the rail and tub together. We can drill out these spot welds and that will allow us to cut the tub and then put it back together so it will look like one piece when we're done. Now we cut the panels. We used both a plasma cutter and a sawzall while making our cuts and made sure to take our time so that everything was nice and straight. We cut off the corners on the blue tub so we could lay that tub into the gray one for added stability. Now you can see our two tubs are cut apart, but it didn't just magically happen. There's a lot of time and effort went into making sure that we actually cut it straight. Yeah, this could be a little bit tricky. Now the first thing we wanted to do was actually mark right in the center point of the wheel well right there, and we did that on both halves. Then you know that you're going to be nice and centered, so when you put everything back together, it's going to look right. And if we want to reuse that factory fender flare, we can do that too, because that's what this is all about. Reusing parts and saving money to make something cool. Then we made our measurement to find the center point of our wheel well and put this metal, our steel beam across the middle. It's about 24 inches out on either side. This way we've now got the center of our wheel tub. Now what we did is then use our level like this to try and find our vertical point up and down through center. So we went through and used a scribe and marked it as we went down along. After we did that, made up a little template like this. Then you can connect all the dots and get the line that you need to make a good cut. So once we're ready and once we're confident where we need to make the cut, then we're ready to start tearing it apart. As you can see, Matt went ahead and cut our frame rails. Now what I'm doing is deburring it all so no one cuts themselves and also everything lines up nice and square. We won't have any problems. One thing I want to show you guys, we're going to put a little bit of an adjustment in this and we talk about the tongue. So this is going to be our tongue. It'll slide through one of the frame rails. Now a frame rail with the same size tubing like this, it'll go all the way from the front to the back. What we're going to do is give it an adjustment so it's got a little bit, it's a little more user friendly. So it'll work like this. Our couple will go on the end and this way was our towing setting. We take the pin out, we can slide it farther back, all the way inside, and this way it'll store away and won't take up so much room. I'm going to go ahead and keep deburring this stuff, and then I can start tack welding our frame into place. All right, so that's tech welded into place. We've got our frame all tech welded as well. And the one thing you gotta keep in mind is that you make sure that you put the center of your pin on your spring centered on your trailer. This way your wheel and tires will line up with your fender wells. So what we've done is gone ahead and made a little center mark on the frame here. We've gotta get our center pin to align with it. And the way we're gonna do that is using a square like this and my tape measure, we'll measure back from it off the ground to the center of the hole. And right now we're at 13 and a quarter. So take that same center mark, 
transfer it back, and that's where the line's got to be here for our hole on the front side of our trailer. You will actually can use the same measuring steps to mount that back bracket right here too. Now keep in mind, this is a leaf spring setup and the spring is actually going to expand as you load it. So that's why you don't want to solid mount the spring back there because then there's no use of even having the spring. It would just be a rigid solid suspension at that point. So you've got this right here, this little shackle style setup and you want to back this up just a couple degrees to where that's going to flex with the flow of the spring. So as the spring compresses, it'll go back this way. Now let's exaggerate just for a second. And if you did the wrong angle and you actually mounted it at an angle kind of like this, well, that's just like an extension of the spring and that would totally defeat even having it at that point. Right, right. Hey, remind me, I got to catch up with Ryan and we got to go find some wheels and tires for this thing. Okay. Uh, you got that side there? Yeah. All right, now we're ready to get in here and kind of see the fruits of the labor a little bit as we start putting these big pieces together. And we'll slide this over. We've got the frame of the trailer kind of button up to the body of the trailer. And this is kind of nice. Get yeah, that it's starting to come together a little there bit. We go. Now, at first glance, you might notice that the frame might look a little bit wide because it extends into the, the, the fender wells a little bit, but there's good reason for it. This thing's going to have a little bit of height to it. It'll be a high center of gravity. So in order to keep it stable out on the trails, when a little bit wider, this is where springs are a little wider, be a lot more stable. Now, you'd be surprised how much a few inches can make. Big difference. Absolutely. Now, we'll get those bolts into place. Then we're ready to set this axle down, too. Now, let me take a look at this. You got that? Yeah, we got a couple tabs there that we welded on that'll hold everything in. You got it? There. Oh. Now, we machined up these little plates right here. This is going to go on the bottom side right there. And our U-bolts will go right through that. And that will locate the axle, keep that into place. And all we have to do is tighten everything down. Hey, and you haven't said anything yet about the wheels and tires. How did I forget that? R Ryan and I were out doing a little hunting. One of his buddies donated these. I don't know that he wanted to donate them, but <laughs> we convinced him it was for a good cause. Man, 37s on V-locks, it's going to look good. It's, it should be about the right height to match that Jeep. Yeah, that's a real nice touch, actually. This is really going to come together nicely, no doubt. All right, we've got to tighten all this stuff up and bolt it all together. Right now, we're going to go to break. We'll be back in a minute with more Truck U. Cool. I'm liking this thing, man. Man, it looks good. I no mean, doubt. The ride height is perfect for that Jeep. Absolutely. Now, keep in mind, it's still a little rough around the edges, right? We're not going to completely finish this out because we're making it for our buddy. We're not exactly sure what he's going to do, so we're going to let him finish it out so it's perfectly custom made for what he's going to do because Bruno and I might look at this and do a couple other things. You never can tell. There's a lot of possibilities. Yeah, we're thinking party wagon. This guy's a little more practical. You know, he's doing it for search and rescue, so we don't really know all the little odds and end things that he needs out, out there on the trails, out there doing rescues. We're thinking that we can put kegerators and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Got a whole different mindset going here. He's actually out saving lives, which is very nice. Now you take a look at some of the cool things about this. First of all, you've got the hitch back here. That's one solid piece. It goes all the way down the bottom, and that's what actually hitches up to the Jeep right there. So that's a good solid piece. So if you're out on the trail, or if he is, and you've got to hook to somebody else and pull him out, or you need to put a trailer on your trailer, you can do that. Another cool thing right here, double gate. There's one up in the front, right. one back here too. Now I don't know if he's going to keep the swinging gate on there. You know, we might put a drop down gate and make it a like a table for drinks and food, but you never know what he's going to do. You know, the whole thing about this, we did this for about 300 bucks. So the wheels and tires were donated. We were able to right. get some of this stuff from a buddy of ours who had some extra uh, pieces laying around. So we saved a lot of money and yet it's something that's really practical because to go and get like a little U-Haul trailer or something to give him some extra storage space wouldn't cut it. I mean, some of those little bitty tires would get tore apart in a day out on the trail. This is practical. It's got 3,500 pound springs on it so we can pile all kinds of stuff on here and <laughs> yeah. all those water tanks, fuel tanks, anything else he's going to need. We don't have to worry about it folding this thing under. Yeah, I mean, you talk about water tanks, fuel tanks, air compressors, and all kinds of tools, maybe a cage up there that yeah. he can bolt things onto. Now, this little gas hole right on the side, this could come in handy too. Now, I don't know what he's going to do. He may, he may just cover this up so you don't even see it's there. Or he may run his airlines back into there and have his connections right here. That way they're nice and tucked away and hidden. And if he does run this up against a tree or some rocks or anything like that, he's not going to shear it all off. Right. So again, possibilities are endless, and I think he's going to be really happy with the way this came out. Now there's also there's like this little trim piece we've got right here you can put back up on top. It'll kind of give it an even look all the way through and you can have a tonneau cover snap back onto it. I mean, it's not a finished product, but it's something that he can work with now and finish it himself the way he needs it finished. I think that's good. I think he's going to love it. That's going to wrap it up for us today on Truck U. We'll see you next time. This is way cool. You man, could even turned out well, look, man. You could even cut this up and put the flares on there. If you, I mean, 